Avid Media Composer features something called an attic that allows you to recover older versions of bins. Click on the Settings tab within the Project window. Double click on the Bin Settings. This is where you tell Media Composer how often to autosave. Notice the default setting is to autosave every 15 minutes. When Media Composer performs an autosave, it saves copies of all your bins. It's in this window where you tell Avid Media Composer how many versions of those bins to keep. Now go back to the Project window and click on the Bins tab. The most important bin is the one that contains your sequence. Therefore, it's really important that you keep your bins labeled within Avid Media Composer. So, if I double click on my sequences bin, you can see I've got a sequence inside there. If a bin is accidentally deleted, or you need to recover an earlier version of a bin, you can find older copies of your bin in the Avid Attic. The easiest way to find the Avid's Attic is to do a quick keyword search on your internal hard drive. If you are on a Mac, hold down the command key and press the spacebar. Type the keyword Attic within the Spotlight search box. Press the return key to open the Avid Attic folder. Within the Avid Attic folder, you'll see a list of Avid projects. Inside each project folder, you will see a list of all your bins. Click on one of the bins that you'd like to recover. The most likely candidate would be the bin that contains your sequence. In this example, I have 23 different saved versions of my sequences bin. Next, you must either copy or move the bin outside the Avid Attic folder. So, I'll grab the last saved version and move it to the desktop. After you have moved or copied a bin that you want to recover, you can reopen it with an Avid Media Composer. Okay, but before you can do this, you must make sure that any previous versions of that bin are closed, otherwise you will get an error. Next, navigate to the File menu and choose Open Bin. It's important that you change this Enable pull-down menu to Any, otherwise you won't be able to open the bin. Then, you'll be able to select the bin that you've copied to the desktop in order to open it. This bin will now appear within the project window and it will be located within a folder called Other Bins. There you go! Now you've recovered an earlier version of your bin. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in an Avid Media Composer training class, visit GeniusDV.com.